Data Studio scorecards are a great way to compare key information quickly, but what happens when you need to compare one metric against multiple time periods? I'm Amy Hebden with Paid Search Magic, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video. Now, the Data Studio report that we're looking at here is actually a makeover that I did a few weeks ago. I just took a report that I found online and wanted to see if there's a way to make it better. And one of the things that I did was instead of repeating information for the change of month over month and year over year and kind of having all that information happen multiple times, I just condensed it. So we had this year's revenue compared to last month and compared to last year. Now, uh, if you've tried to use a scorecard to get the two metrics to show up, you'll know it doesn't work. Currently, there's only you can only use one metric at a time. You, you can set that period to whatever range you want to, but it's only going to show you one. So I'm going to show you how I created this. So it's really just a trick. <laughs> I, I'm not able to force a uh, two metric comparison, but what I did do is I just, I overlaid um, two different scorecards. So this first scorecard that you see here, I'm just gonna drag it down, is, um, is the month over month comparison. And if you need any help, uh, how to create scorecards, if you need a refresher, uh, there's a video link over here of how to do that. But what we're gonna look at is just this other number over here. What I, all I did really is I just changed the color so that the, the data label uh, is white. So I'm gonna change it to blue just so you can see it. You can see how that shows up. Um, when it's white, you just can't see it. So the only, the only other trick here is to make sure that um, that number is in the background because if it's not, if you had that number up in front, then what would happen is it'd start to like bleed over the other one and you'd have some weird overlapping. But same with this down here. You can see if I, if I move this one, this one is just a light gray, I think. Um, so yeah, once I change the color, it's, it's pretty obvious how it's done, but that's all you have to do is just make sure that the color of your metric, or I guess it's called your label in here, is going to match the background that it's going to show up against. And then you can just um, put those two side by side. And there you have it. It's that easy. Okay. Uh, super quick tip, but hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, give it a thumbs up if it was. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you have any requests for additional videos. And be sure to subscribe to get more videos on how to get better dashboards and reports using Data Studio. Thanks so much.